I'm doing a quick video on how to make the, this uh, chicken water feeder, chicken waterer, that uh, you can access from the outside. So this is just a six gallon container that I purchased from Cal Ranch. And then I've already installed the little water nipples down here. These were four for five dollars. And how you install those is, it's pretty simple, it says it on the package. But you just use a 3 8 drill bit, drill the holes and then you screw them in and they have a little rubber gasket. I don't know if you can see that, let's see if we... Yeah, so a little rubber gasket that kind of helps seal it. So anyway, I got those installed already. And then I went ahead and my idea is to mount this on the inside of the chicken coop. And uh, fill it up from the outside so I don't have to remove it and I can fill it up very easily. So what I did is I got a little 3 fourths adapter and it screws into the lid on this container. This lid comes with a little water sprocket thing right there. That's 3 eighths, but what I did was I just got this uh, adapter for the hose to go to the flex hose and it's 3 eighths and it screws right in the middle there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this hose on here like that and then I'm gonna put a hole in the wall of my chicken coop so that I can fill it up. And I already got this other side on here. I'll probably, end it, well, no, I don't need to take it off, but I'm gonna drill a hole in the side of the chicken coop and seal around it with the foam insulation sealer. I got a cap in it already, but that's 3 8 so you can screw a garden hose or anything you want in there or just put the garden hose up to it, which is what I'm planning on doing. Um, I might keep a funnel out there. Yeah, and then it has a little cap over here that you can take off and use to let air out when you're filling it up so it goes in better. But anyway, so it's, it's gonna cost me $23. It'll be a six gallon water feeder. I'm gonna build a shelf in there for it to go on and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Once I build the shelf, it'll be a piece of cake. Just keep it in there. I'll do the hole for the hose to go in and I will do a quick little video once I get it out there. It is nighttime, so hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Uh, I'll try and get a light out there, something that uh, make it easier to see. But uh, anyway, $23, six gallon water feeder that I can fill up from the outside of the chicken coop during the winter and that'll be capped off and the chicken coop is heated so it stays about 35 degrees in that chicken coop so this shouldn't freeze but I, if it does i can worry about that later i have some 12 volt uh little heating pads and my solar panels that i can use so if we get to that point i'll do another video on how to keep it from freezing but i don't think i'll need to worry about that the wall i'm putting it against too is is about two inches thick and it's insulated and then the chicken coop will i'll have it i have two heat lamps in there they're 125 watts each one will be pointing basically right at this uh, and so it shouldn't freeze with the darker color and stuff I'm hoping it'll absorb enough of the heat um, to keep it from freezing but I'm gonna go ahead and build a shelf now for this and then uh, I'll do a video once I'm done with that shelf, shelf to show you here's a little shelf I built it's got a 2 by 10 in the middle that I've actually trimmed a little bit I have one support going down and then this other board that's gonna screw into the wall of the chicken coop and it's gonna be about 14 to 16 inches off the ground uh, of the coop, off the bottom of the coop. I went ahead and then put three two by fours around it, uh, two on each side, just screwed to the side of that two by 10, and then one in the front, just kind of keep it from tipping. But uh, this is how it's gonna go on here. So it's not, it's not actually gonna touch that front board, but that's okay. Um, with it on the inside, it was just a little too tight. So I decided to just go ahead and put it on the outside. And I could put another board on top of it or even put a, a piece of plywood on the inside and screw it on if I wanted to. I might do that eventually, but it's going to be heavy enough. I don't think it's going to go anywhere with six gallons of water in it. There's the little water nipples sticking down right there. Uh, it'll give them, I mean, even if I move it all the way to the front here, it'll be plenty accessible for them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go put that in the chicken coop and uh, then run my hose to the outside and show you how it looks then. Okay. Alright, so I got it in here. I don't have the pipe going in right now because I haven't decided where I want it to go, but I got a little bit of water in it. I got it installed. Um, I need to put another screw down on the other side. You can see it's not going in because my bit was stripped, so I gotta continue this. I'll just finish screwing that in tomorrow, but it's up here, and let's see if I can show ya. Right, hello, ladies. Um, kinda hard to see, but I mean, there it is. 
and then I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to put it, the hose, if I want to put it anywhere. But um, this is really thick here, so I might actually just leave it there, and then we can open up the door to fill it up with the with whatever. So I might just do that instead of drilling a hole, because I'll have to drill up there, which is a little higher than I'd like. Um, or I can put it, you know, I can put it anywhere. So we'll see what I decide to do. I'll talk to my wife and see what she wants, where she wants it. But anyway, it's in. Support is good. Um, but yeah, you can see it. Working good right there. Anyway, so that's a quick little tutorial.